I want to show you guys the exact moment that Trump's brain just shuts down on stage. It is getting bad because do you guys remember a few months back when he gave that long nonsensical answer about childcare? Well now that is every answer. He talks like that all the time and I will demonstrate throughout this video that this man is incapable of even holding a substantive coherent thought for more than 10 seconds straight. He makes up conspiracy theories about the economy being terrible and the Biden administration covering these terrible numbers up. He talks about Kamala Harris not working at McDonald's and he derides Detroit while at the Detroit Economic Club. It is a it is a crazy speech and we have a lot to break down so make sure you drop a like, make sure you subscribe and we have no time to waste. Let's jump in with this clip of Donald Trump talking about his children and just listen to how deranged he sounds. But you know I have smart children and uh, they they've been good academically etc cetera, etc cetera. but very importantly I would always tell them no drugs, no alcohol, no cigarettes. No drugs, no alcohol, no cigarettes. And they'd go out and uh, Ivanka would say, Dad, stop telling me that. I said, I'm going to tell it to you every time I see you. I'm going to drive you wild with this. You're going to no drugs, no alcohol. And I would say that. Not sure Don Jr. got the memo. Sorry. And uh, I hope that because uh, who knows right but they don't have uh, they don't have any of those problems I mean I've I'm sure this is what the people at the Detroit Economic Club want to hear here is Donald Trump talking about wars I'll debunk it after throughout the world and if we don't have peace throughout the world we're not smart people because it doesn't make sense you know I've stopped a lot of wars from starting I was very proud of that people don't know but there are countries that were going to war and I stopped them using trade to stop them I use trade I threaten trade I'd say you're not going to do business with the United States if you do there's countries that have been fighting for centuries essentially and stop and then they go kill a lot of people. These countries don't exist. Russia was occupying Crimea during the four years that Trump was in the White House. He didn't do anything to increase sanctions. Donald Trump can't name a single country because he increased tra trade wars with China. He got in a famous trade war with China. He did not stop any wars on the ground. In fact, Biden was the one who pulled out of Afghanistan because he wasn't worried to get a little bit of egg on his face. Now here's a clip of Biden telling Trump to get a life. Mr. President, have you spoken with former President Trump at all? Uh, Are you kidding me? Mr. President Trump, former President Trump, get a life, man. Help these people. Will you hold him accountable? You all of the American people are thinking that right now. Get a life, man. Now, here is the first clip that I want to play for you guys where Donald Trump's rambling really struck me as, as just terrible. I mean, it's always bad, but this video is uniquely bad. This is a 50 second clip of him saying, if I were named Obama, I would have gotten the Nobel Prize. But in the process of saying this, he glitches about four times showing that he doesn't even have a basic grasp of the human language. I mean, just listen. If I were named Obama, I would have had the Nobel Prize gave him into it in 10 seconds. He would. He got the Nobel Prize. He didn't even know what the hell he got it for. Remember, he got elected. Well, I so did I. He got elected, and they announced he was getting the Nobel Prize. Remember, he said, oh, what did I do? He didn't know what the hell he did. He got the Nobel Prize for doing nothing, he, for getting elected. But I got elected, too. And, uh, you know, He's if whining. I think of that, we, we did something, the Abraham Accords, unprecedented. Nobody thought it was possible. And I'm not saying want or not. I'm not saying, I'm just saying if it was anybody else, uh, liberal, Democrat, they would have had it before the damn thing was even signed, you know. So there has to be fair, and I don't care, but I'm not looking for it. I'm not politicking for it. I'm just saying that... Okay, number one, he is still obsessed with Barack Obama for absolutely no reason. Number two, he is just ranting. I don't even know what his broader point is here, that if he were named Obama, he would have gotten the Nobel Prize... You're not Obama. You can't speak like Obama. You can't pass policy like Obama. You tried to repeal the Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, and John McCain, who is a true patriot, shot that down, a thumbs down. So Donald Trump is not comparable, and even John McCain would totally admit that. Now, here is clip number two, Exhibit B, why Donald Trump is absolutely losing his mind. Now, I'm going to be sending these videos to my Trump voting friends from high school because... Because 
yes, I grew up in Indiana. I graduated high school about three years back in Indiana, and I still have friends that support Donald Trump. And I like to send them stuff and be like, this is the dude you're supporting, a senile old man. In this clip, I, I can't quite tell you what he's talking about. The very big plant. Uh, many countries, they do that. And then all of a sudden, you hear that they're leaving Milwaukee or they're leaving wherever they may be located. It's very sad to see it. And it's so simple. I mean, you know. This isn't like Elon with his rocket ships that land within 12 inches on the moon where they wanted to land. Or he gets the... Look how low energy and like weak he is. He's just, his orange is wearing off. He's slouched over. He's kind of just sweating. Something's not right. Engines back. That was the first I realized. I said, who the hell did that? I saw engines about three, four years ago. These things were coming, cylinders, no wings, no nothing. And they're coming down very slowly, landing on a raft in the middle of the ocean someplace with a circle. Boom. Reminded me of the Biden circles that he used to have, right? He'd have eight circles and he couldn't fill them up. But then I heard he beat us with the popular vote. I, I don't know. I don't know. He couldn't did. fill up the eight circles. I always loved those circles. They were so beautiful. They were so beautiful to look at. In fact, the person that did them, that was the best thing about his the level of that circle. I'm not sure what this man is. I'm not sure what this man is talking about. At this point, here's Donald Trump saying that if the whole country would be like Detroit if Kamala Harris were your president. This clip went viral and kind of cracked me up because listen to Donald Trump saying that Detroit is a terrible place while in Detroit. I don't think anything that we're talking about today is high on our list. I mean, the whole country is going to be like, you want to know the truth? It'll be like Detroit. Our whole country will end up being like Detroit if she's your president. You're going to have a mess in your hands. She just... He says in Detroit, rule number one, when speaking to a city, don't disrespect that city, says someone in the replies. And here is a seven minute clip. Obviously, I'm not going to play the full thing, but I just want you to watch this. This at the bottom says seven minutes, 53 seconds. So it is an eight minute clip. Trump gets asked a question and I want to show you that he speaks for seven minutes. Uh, their values, their lifestyles, uh, and you did a great job raising them. Um, how did you do that? I, everybody here loves their kids, and you mentioned about... Uh... So how did you do that? Blah, blah, blah. So Trump starts answering. Let me scrub through. The guy in the right in speaking. Environment. Let's scrub through this. Speaks. 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 Five minutes in. Five minutes in. Six minutes in. Because it sounds harsh, but when you think of it, if they do kill on average 500 people, everybody in this room knows a lot of people that... They lost a child, or sometimes a father or mother, but they've lost a child to fentanyl. And uh, that wouldn't have happened if, if we had the death penalty. But uh, the, the country's going to have to tell us that they're ready for it. Cause, you know. What a way to end an eight-minute rant, and what a way to end an absolutely terrible, terrible speech. I want to show you one more clip. This is Trump at the Economic Club of New York not giving any better of an answer about child care. I referenced at the beginning of the video. I just love this clip. Listen up. If you win in November, can you commit to prioritizing legislation to make child care affordable and if so, what specific piece of legislation will you advance? Well, I would do that, and we're sitting down. You know, I was uh, somebody. We had uh, Senator Marco Rubio, and my daughter Ivanka was so uh, impactful on that issue. It's a very important issue. But I think when you talk about the kind of numbers that I'm talking about, that because look, child care is child care. It's, couldn't you know there's something you have to have it in the i don't think he knows what child care is this goes on for another minute and a half and he says nothing of substance if you guys enjoyed this video if you appreciate what i do drop a like hit that subscribe button have a great rest of your day i'll see you in the next video peace out